Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Mary Ellen, I'm from Planning with Bumble, and today I'm gonna to be doing a video on my social media planner. This is my classic Miss Maker planner, and I'm going to be planning for the week of January 7th through the 13th. If you're new here, welcome, and I'm just so excited to see so many new subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, if you wouldn't mind clicking that uh, subscription button and the notification bell, I would appreciate it. Now let's get started. So I'm going to, I, so last week I did a spread in my social media planner. It was my first in the Miss Maker and I used the Miss Maker stickers and I made it bright colors like this and I kept a lot of the same um, things in the planner. This week I'm going to be kind of transforming this into something else totally different. So what I thought I would do is start by whiting out some of these lines because if I put washi tape down on the lines, I do usually, oh, there's a, that's there. I usually want to wipe them out first because typically washi is pretty translucent and I don't really want the color to show through. Now I am using some black washi here, so it might not show through, but just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this out. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do then is put some washi up here under the dates, and I'm using this black Doodlebug Design Scallop Washi. If you're um, a watcher of my videos, you will definitely know that I use this Doodlebug Design Washi a lot. And I'll link this in the description below. I think I got it at scrapbook.com. Um, I love it, it comes in a pack of like six different colors or something like that, and it just, I don't know, it adds like something to my spreads when I use it. I just feel like it just looks so cool and it just gives it a little bit of a punch, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna trim this with my craft knife and then I'll go on the other side here and I'll make sure it's kind of even by bringing it across like this. So I'll line these up, bring it across that way it's just kind of even all the way around. When you put washi tape down, do not pull it too tightly because it'll come off the page eventually. It'll like pop up. I do have a videotape, a videotape, oh gosh. <laughs> I have a video on washi tape um, and how to use it in your planner. Ten, I call it 10 ways to use washi in your planner. I will link it in the description box below if I remember to do so. Um, if not, it's on, uh, the Planner 101 playlist. So let me just go ahead and cut this off. There. The reason I'm transforming this page into something different is because I'm going to be using the Boss Babe sticker book. So there's this new sticker book from the Happy Planner. And um, the colors in here are really kind of pastel not there's some black in there which is why I'm adding black but not a lot of like bright colors so it really wouldn't match my spread if I just decided to put some of these stickers down you know what I mean so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and put washi tape on these two lines as well but I'm not going to use the same washi as the top because I feel like that would be too matchy so I decided I am going to be using this one from the happy planner it came in one of these Packs and I apologize, I do not know which one because I keep mixing them up. There's Bumble, <laughs> sorry. Um, and I might use this one as well, this kind of spotted one. So we'll see how it goes. I just ran out of white out while I was doing this. So this, I just wanted to show you because I'm getting a new one out of the box. This is the Tombow correction tape that I always use. And I will link it in the description box below. It's actually the best I've found and it works really well. It never gets like clogged up. It doesn't um, get like, you know how sometimes they get like twisted or whatever, that doesn't really happen with this. So I do, I do like this a lot. So I, it will be in the section in the description that has like my planner, my favorite planner tools.
Okay, so that looks cute. The next thing I'm going to do is take this sidebar and just cover it up completely because like I said, my colors are gonna just be really different. So this white matches this white pretty well. I don't like how this white is a little bit different from this white, but it's not it's not a huge deal. It just kind of it bugs me a little bit, but I'm a, I'm like a color perfectionist. I don't know why, but sometimes things like that kind of bother me. Um, but we're just gonna go with it. So I'm going to grab a pencil over here and just mark where this page ends. And then I'll cut it with my Fiskars paper trimmer. What I'm using here is Avery label paper and I do have that linked down below as well on the, um, in my planner, like my favorite planner tool section. And I use this for like, covering up all the stuff in my planner. I just find it to be just high quality. And so I, I use it all the time. Okay, so essentially we have like a blank spread here. I'm gonna leave this this week's goal down here because I don't mind that. That's not really too bright and colorful. So I'm just gonna leave that there. Now we're gonna pull out the Boss Babe sticker book and try to figure out what my next steps are. I really have no ideas going in. I'm just going to wing it so you guys can wing it with me. I do know I wanted to use some of these pastel colors with the black. So I could do top three as like um, as the videos and posts I want to do for the videos and posts I want to do. That might be good a good idea. Um, it's not much room to write though, but so on a, on a daily basis, I don't really have more than three posts or videos to make. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put one of these on each section up here. And then this is going to be my to do's for these things um, and then I'm gonna figure out like on the bottom what to do with that I'm not sure I need the bottom if I'm gonna be using these up here so I don't know if I'm gonna go straight across or if I should like I'm gonna make it like I'm gonna vary it a little bit Okay, I think that looks cute and that is uh, very functional for me. So let's keep it like that. Now, the middle section I am going to keep as to do's. I might just keep these little blocks here because I really don't, it would be very time consuming to cover all those blocks up. I really don't need to do that because the, the colors kind of match. I mean, it's not perfect, but, but maybe like, I might want to put something here to label what this section is. Let me see what I have. Somewhere I must have like black stickers that say to do maybe in the productivity book let me see if I can look at that one um, or the fitness book so this productivity book does have some black stickers I don't know if there's any like black to do stickers or anything like that but let me see I wish that I had like the there's some ones that some books that like came out last year for the happy planner girl like not 2018 but 2017 that i have not been able to get my hands on because i didn't start planning until january of 2018 so i wasn't able to get like the trendsetter and the glam girl i think it is but so those i think have a lot of black stickers and i kind of wish i could get my hands on those but it's okay I could use these like circle stickers. Maybe I'll do that. Put one of 
those there and I will put one over here. Okay, that'll do. All right, so the bottom section, like I said, is just going to be about quotes, I think, or something like that, something decorative, because I'm not really gonna need that section, I don't think. So let's check out what we have going on. Maybe some box stickers, maybe some quotes. Let's start with this one. Then we'll get a couple of maybe even bigger ones like this caffeine and mascara one. Um, let's try it right here. How about like one of these? So I'm just going to place it across two of the boxes. Um, you know what? Let me just put it, should I put it over that? No. Okay, that's fine. And then I'm just gonna need something over here. I don't know if I want to put another box sticker there because it might look too symmetrical, but if I don't, it might look like too many quotes, so. I do like this color, it matches this one. It says, do work that feeds your soul, not your ego. That's awesome. Planning does feed my soul, you guys. So I'm gonna put it down, why not? It will look a little matchy, but I'm okay with that. Okay. So what I have left to do is check out, like figure out what I'm gonna do in this sidebar here. So I am gonna put the month up here. So I'm gonna grab my dates and holiday sticker book. Okay, so I'm gonna use this Happy Memory Keeping Dates and Holidays book because in here there um, there's this pink color for January and I thought it would look nice with the rest of the spread. So I'm just gonna put it up here. Okay, so now I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of my sidebar and Sometimes that's a struggle. I do usually, in my big happy planner, I put like all my to-dos for the week here or my goals or whatever. I, I don't use that as much in my social media planner. Like when I, like I said before, I don't like, I, I'm struggling with using my social media planner. I have really good intentions, but like I just end up winging it a lot of the time. So I keep planning, keep trying to use it. Some weeks I fill it out completely, other weeks just half way like this um, so most of my stuff is going in my big happy planner I don't want to combine them because there's too many to do's for social media and I really want to try to get them all written down to get more organized with when I take photos when I post certain things when I edit videos when I film the videos all those things sometimes I will write ideas for future videos down here but I also have separate pieces of paper for that in my planner like separate half sheets and stuff that I use for that so I don't think I'm going to use this this week so I'm just going to make it decorative in some way so let me look again at this boss babe book and see if I can come up with any ideas I could put a bunch of these circle motivational stickers there. That would look cute. So let me try the circle idea. I don't know if I'm gonna like it because the circles are a little bit small, but let me just try a couple and see how it looks. Okay, let me just check out how this looks and if I want to keep them there. Um, they'll do. It's not my favorite, but uh, it'll do. So let me just place these down and I'll cut off the edges to just make them kind of um, pop off the side there.
Okay, so that's it for this week's spread. I hope you like this. I think it's it's cute. I like the colors in this. I love the Boss Babe sticker book, so it'll work for me this week. It'll get me a little bit motivated. So I'm just gonna fill out these sections, but I'm not gonna do it on camera. I'll do it off camera because I would like to take a before the pen picture of this. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check me out on Instagram at Planning with Bumble. I do post all of my after the pen spreads there and tons of other different things. So I do post there every day. So check me out there and I hope you guys have a great day and a great week. Talk to you soon, bye.